Neil, just brings up to date with uh, how the squad's looking after the weekend. Yeah, the main thing was obviously we didn't uh, get any injuries after the game. But we have had a, a sort of couple of weeks now where we've had the odd player who's missed, missed training because of tonsillitis or illness. And um, we've had sort of a couple of players who've not been 100% who haven't trained today. But I think if you're asking me later in the week, I'd expect everybody who certainly who who took part on Saturday to be available again for this Saturday. Everybody else trained well though and spring in their step. Well, I think they trained well last week. I, I think there was um you know, they were very positive going into the game. There was a good atmosphere in the dressing room before the game, but if you don't get the result I suppose nobody t tends to take much notice of that. But but they they were in good spirits and um you know they continued that it, through the game and, and they've come in today and, and they've been lively so that, that's what you want. Yeah, this, the good spirits in the dressing room, does it make your job a bit easier? Um, if the players do what you ask and, they, and they, you know, you, you ask them to perform certain things and they do it and obviously they work hard, I think as a manager that's all you can ask but obviously the result makes the following week easier but I'm well aware that like I think, like I said, we had the same sort of situation. We played well in the Cambridge game. I think everybody was obviously feeling good the week after, and then, you know, put in a, a terrible performance at um, Colchester. So, football is what it is. But um, you know, I'm happy with the the way they did on Saturday and, and the way they're training. But they need to to do it over a consistent run of games. Has your team set themselves a benchmark over the last few weeks with the performances? Um, I think when you play the game back and you watch through the game, certainly from a, a shape point of view, they had a good a good shape um, and they worked hard. So I, th I think that was always gives you a basis where you can work it at it, it, it the, it the next game. Uh, so that was encouraging. But we can get better. Um, I think um, as a team we can get better and individuals can get better um, and we have to keep striving to do that. You, you highlighted consistency, you want to see a bit more consistency. You are starting to see that, you were unchanged as well at the weekend for a, a second successive game. I, is that something that you would like as a manager, as an option more often than not? That means your team's winning and the players are, are performing for you? No, I, I, th I think if you can get a settled team that's what you want, but you know you can't keep everyone happy because uh, you could. We played the same team at Colchester as we did against Cambridge, and look at the two different performances, and that's with the same players. So there might be occasions where you might want to change a winning team if you think it's going to be better suited for a certain game. But uh, I certainly wouldn't like to to be in the habit of having to make changes, and, and if it can keep them to a minimum, then. Then I'll be pleased, but you never know with injuries and suspensions what what's going to happen. But but certainly if we can get a consistent team out, then I think it will benefit everyone. You mentioned about individuals could play a little bit better at times. The team can play a bit better as well at times. What is it you want to see more of then? Um, we need to score more goals as a team because we've you know we've we've had uh, nine games and. And we've scored ten goals, so we'd like to. We need to score more goals as a team. Um, but you can't put that down to to, in, to one individual or two individuals. As a team, we need to score more goals. So you've got to have lots of players chipping in with goals. And um, if we can do that and be defensively solid, then obviously we're, we're going to pick up points. Does that influence the way you want to play then, or is that about players taking a little bit more risks when they're around the opposition penalty area? Um, I think ideally everybody wants to play. You know, it, we all want to to play a, a game of football like possibly like Manchester City do. Of course, it's a fantastic to watch, but in reality, it's not going to happen. Um, so you have to try and play to your strengths, and you have to try and get the balance right between between how much you risk and, and how much you you defend. So I think getting the balance is, is the key. Um, I certainly want to play football, um, but it's got to be in the right areas and at the right time. Um, 
but if we can play at our best then we can create chances and then we need to take you know probably a bigger percentage than we have done so far a couple of home games coming up for you now so opportunity for you to to get some home comfort and and bring that that performance from last weekend to your home fans they're always important the home games um we've got obviously got a big game on saturday because of the league position of of the opposition and um we need to to try and get that same atmosphere we generated at the crew game not just you know the it with the performance as well with the energy and with the spirit i think i think the you know the fans need to see the players putting in an effort and then they respond and we need to do the same in our home games and we have to try and you know have consistent performances that can increase the crowds and then we can get better atmospheres at the game because there's no no question about it. Um, the atmosphere for Saturday's game was much greater than what we've had in any other away game and um, you know it does help you could see how a lot of the players responded to that and we need to try and generate as much atmosphere as we can at home um, and, and that'll help us put in the performance. Are you quietly confident from what you've seen from your team this season as to where possibly your team could end up come next May, April, May? I can only compare with with um, when I first came to the club and I, I think you have to look at, you always have, and, and it's always a game about opinions, but you, you look at the, you look at the players that you bring in and the players that go out and, and if you know, if, if hopefully you get you bring in better players in that are going out, then I feel that you know that's all you can do. And um, if you get better ones in, you have to keep trying to improve. You're always look, look as a manager. I think you're always trying to replace what you think is your weakest link, and um, and it does take time. But if you're gonna if you're gonna sort of have one game where you play well, another game you play badly, or a couple of games you do well. You can't then go from one extreme to the other. You can't say, we're great one week, we're absolutely rubbish the next. We've got a good squad then, we've got a rubbish squad. You know, manager, manager should, you know, be a manager, manager should be sacked. It, it's got to be over a longer period, I think, and um, and then we can assess. If, if we're making progress, but uh, it does it does take time, and uh, will take time. But I've been encouraged, obviously, by the last few games where we've shown, you know, that we can, you know, be a good side in, in this league. I think is that one of the frustrations, then, as a manager and as a as a fan as well, I guess, of a, of a football club that are no disrespect to players at League Two level, but there is inconsistency for players. There's, there's no question about that. Um, we had players. Who have expected more of this season, who have not performed, um, but they can perform because they've, they've shown in certain games that they can. And you're looking for a consistent level of performance. And the teams obviously that do well are get a a more consistent level of performance week in week out, which which gets them the results. So I, I think um, you know players have got to look at their own game. They've got to try and get better. Our job here is to, to obviously try and help them with that. But at the end of the day, they've got to, you know, look at themselves at times, and they've got to strive to do better. When you've got key players in your team, though, like Scott Brown in goal and in front of him Leon Leg, then Manny Olike in central midfield and Tom Pope up front, that spine of your team, if they can be as consistent as possible, that gives you a, a fighting chance, doesn't it? I think um, you sign players, you hope that they're going to do well, and you sign players. That um, you know you obviously for a reason. Um, the experienced players, we expect them to come in and do a, a job, but you don't know how. Uh, not everyone starts the same. And to be fair, um, Leon Leg in pre-season didn't do himself justice, but in the games he's been a different player altogether. And um, he's you know looking the player that we. That we wanted when we brought him in. I think with um, um, Brownie and Goal, he's 
I think when you're watching from the sidelines as a manager, you want to be able to. I don't mean relax in in terms of you never relax watching the games, but but with your goalkeeper, you want to feel that he's he, he gives confidence with the side to the side which he does. I mean, as you know, Manny's not very good. <laughs> Sat behind us, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he really should do a lot better than he's doing. But hopefully, if he keeps, you know, if he keeps striving to get a bit better, you know, he might have a half decent game now and again. Um, but um, no, I've, I think he's uh, the fact that we've played better when he's been in the side, and we've missed him when he's been out means that um, he's adapted well to to this level of football. And uh, and I think he can get better. I think uh, he's got a lot of good attributes, and um, you know, as the season you know gets gets more into the season, I think he's he's only going to get better. With this being the BBC, man, I'll give you the, the right to reply. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>